Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for this opportunity to present this uh, study. I'm really honored to be here today with you. Um, presenting on behalf of Mohamed Aydar, who didn't make it for a visa issue, and the whole snakebite team in South Sudan. So I'd like to present to you this study, which is on snakebite incidents and case fatality rates uh, in Agok, South Sudan, uh, a cross-sectional study uh, with uh, two sampling methods. Um, it happens here. This is a setting in Agok, uh, a no man's land in the north of South Sudan. Um, this is the hospital of Agok, uh, about 194 beds with uh, emergencies, war surgery, inpatients, pediatrics, maternity, and snake bite victims. Uh, this is one of the young boys um, that I met uh, in Agok in 2014. He got the oral consent from the father. He was bitten on the face, uh, on the cheek, and he nearly died. He was saved thanks to the antivenom that was given quite promptly. Um, so the rationale. So who thinks snake bite is a public health problem in sub-Saharan Africa? Well, we have a few numbers. Um, worldwide, uh, there's more than 5 million snake bite victims. This are, these are WHO numbers. Of them, uh, 1 million are in venoms, and among them, about 125,000 die every year. Um, estimates in sub-Saharan Africa are incomplete. We have incomplete data from many African countries. Uh, it's increasing, it's improving. Uh, Unfortunately, surveys are not designed for capturing snake bites uh, as they are considered as a rare event. Um, so in the, this MSF hospital in May 2014, we uh, observed 90 cases, so 90 uh, snake bite victims in one month. So these were three per day. Uh, it represented 5% of the emergency room patients and 7% of the IPD uh, inpatients. And in total, it was 307 patients in 2014, uh, among them three deaths. So this triggered uh, the need for an urgent uh, survey, uh, an assessment of the community uh, to see actually who had access to the hospital. Uh, so this is an est uh, the objective of the study uh, was um, to estimate the incidence, the mortality, health-seeking behavior, and characteristics of different snakes. And the snake bite uh, methodology were through three sources, uh, an active case finding survey in 33 villages. Then we didn't believe our numbers. And so there was a second uh, survey, which was an exhaustive, more classic survey in eight randomly selected villages. Uh, and finally, uh, this was compared with a hospital database. Uh, the record period was one year, uh, from May 2014 to May 2015. Uh, this is uh, Mohamed Haidar and his two slightly taller colleagues from South Sudan. Uh, uh, um, I'm really sorry he can't be here today. Um, um, so the findings uh, were very high incidence rates. Um, 1,688 uh, snake bites per 100,000 population per year. We didn't believe it the first time, so we did the second survey, which found even higher numbers, 3,600 bites per 100,000 per year. This represents 3.6% of the population uh, bitten every year. The case fatality rates were very high, so we found uh, 18 deaths. This was 4.4% in the first study, and in the second study, less deaths, 2.3%. This were of course, due to different villages were surveyed. Uh, in comparison with the hospital data, uh, during the study period, uh, the case fatality rate was much lower, uh, 0.6%, <coughs> and uh, during the whole year, it was 1%. So you see it's really a big difference. So gender balance was really unbalanced in favor of males in the hospital data, and uh, unsurprisingly, uh, there were more females uh, in the community. So that's quite interesting. Um, it's kind of a selection. And uh, the age group distribution um, showed a higher number of victims among the active population uh, between 16 and 45, as well among teenagers in all groups. This is um, 
a bit of a heavy slide showing the snake morphology questionnaire that was applied using photographs <laughs> and the patterns of different snakes to try to recognize the snakes, because unfortunately, um, snakes are not brought to the hospital, so we cannot be absolutely <laughs> sure. In some countries, they do, like in Nepal or Myanmar, sometimes patients, uh, victims, or their family kill the snake and bring them. But here, it was not possible, so we had to find another way. So according to the color of the snake, uh, the length of the snake, the diameter of it, one, like a fist, one finger, two fingers, three fingers, or the diamond pattern of the snake, we could assess uh, with a certain degree of certainty that there were mainly puff adders, Betis aretans, uh, black spitting cobras, Naja nigricollis, uh, Bok, which is a borrowing asp, and uh, Equis pyramidum, which is a carpet viper, which is hemotoxic. Um, Sorry for the snake. I hope none of you are too scared. But